Hi all, so today's video it will be Azure Security. So when comes into the picture of Azure Security, it was a highly important role in our day-to-day -day life. For example, uh, everyone we are hearing the news is like it is. Um, for example, there are security hacks are there. So these these kind of information we are getting. So we definitely have more importance on Azure Security. Then only our project will be protected in the uh, in the one one compound like one organization itself so that is the reason i think i can get, create a one small section for my audience so what first thing we need to know what is authentication the so authentication and authorization are the two important concepts the so authentication means is the um, identifying someone's identity and this is the right person who need to log in the particular account for example i have created one gmail account my name is in the devi krishna r so any other person don't want to enter my personal account right this is my personal gmail is my personal i uh, don't want to interfere my account if anyone hack those things it will be affect my facebook instagram everything right so that means uh, before anyone logging into my credential there is a security check before logging that one so that is called a authentication uh, we need to identify this is the correct person uh, logging into the particular user account same way we can define in our cases like for example in the organization itself uh, someone who uh, who outside the organization don't want to enter in a particular or particular organization account uh, it will be affect the security so that time we need to know who are under this particular account, project account, then only we can give the access. So it is used to buy both the server and client. Server uses the authentication when someone wants to access the information and the server need to know who is the access the information. The client uses when it, he wants to know his same server claim to be. So that is important. Then the authentication by server is done mostly using the username and password. Most commonly we are using, right? Everywhere we are creating an account with a particular account and password only give, we can access into it. So that is important. Then card, retina, scam. So this is an example. The authentication does not ensure the task until the process one person can do what file he can view, read, or update. It mostly identifies who is the person, uh, the system, and actually. Then how it will be possible in Azure. Mainly, there are a lot of information that are available. If you're really interested to know these kind of things, definitely you can join my um, camps also. Uh, there's a boot camp will be on. I will give you some hints up also because if you're more in depth, because when you're working in a project, definitely you want to know in depth of everything. But today I will give some kind of hint. First thing will be the Azure Active Directory. Second will be the Managed Identity, okay? so. We can go give the say for example uh, keys. Maybe you need uh, you know about encryption, decryption, these kind of information like managing keys, creating new keys, and maintaining the key. Then once keys verify, we can give the access. So that is kind of a key maintenance. So if you he like that, for example, a server one, we need to pass information from uh, server B. We need to access. So definitely we need a key need to send into server B once key validation completed it will be back to server a this is the limitation between the sending the keys directly okay so comes into the picture once it is completed we can use an uh, extra server to maintaining the key generating the key because we can remove the overload of key generation and key verification from here so here we can what we can do we are maintaining the azure active directory to maintaining the key for example any project account email IDs we can use to verify these are the person who already aware in or who already in the particular account itself so that's a separate thing we are maintaining in the cloud that is called a Azure Active Directory then next will be Azure Managed Identity Managed Identity means we need to move the credential up. mostly it is under the service principle credentials are moved out of the application code identify creator and type to resource lifecycle okay one case we can con means we need to maintaining all the things in a separate way gives an extra or additional information in our hand so that is under this azure managed entity i'm giving like a hint here this is an azure active directory here once we for example 
there is a managed identity we are keeping here so first it will be service one service request a token what will have this request token is going to with the help of manager entity going to active directory once it verify receive the token here is receive the token receive the token giving to here okay then once it completed the request with the token so it will be moving to here in the first fifth one it will be moving to here then verify the token in the azure data directory then once it verified it is coming back to here token verify then the response so this is complete flow in the managed identity i think if you are more need because more in depth knowledge in the dp2 not the deep kind of item you definitely it will be more uh, everything you need to know this kind of hint thank you guys thank you